is the NBA on NBC. The 1991 NBA Finals. Tonight, Game 5 between the Chicago Bulls and the Los Angeles Lakers. Atmosphere around the Bulls. Everybody's very serious, very focused on the bus ride from the hotel over to the forum. Everybody was quiet. They were all thinking about that championship that's oh so close at hand. I asked Jordan about winning it at home. He said, you know what? We want to win it whenever and wherever we can. We feel like we can win it tonight. Barb? And the forum crowd into it here at the start. They have had their ups and downs in the cheering department during the final. Tigo forced it. Although when you talk of Terry Teagle, I don't know if there is such a thing as a forced shot. Here's Paxson. Yes. He was trying to throw a skip pass across to A.C. Green. He intercepted it. John Paxson. Coming up on two minutes. Remaining in this first quarter. Jordan off the steal. The Bulls defense finds a way to get easy scores. Fourth in the league this year in steals. Jordan, one of the best pickpockets you're going to find, and then one of the best finishers at that end. And back come the Bulls. Lakers lead at 23-21. Here's Jordan. A gorgeous move again by Michael Jordan going at Vladi Divac strong, and then able to lay it home softly. Magic thought he was fouled. No call. And here's Pippen. The Bulls take a 25-23 lead. Pressure by Chicago. And the Lakers back to Devots, bringing it up, and he lost it. Jordan off the steal. Magic with a risky pass intended for Campbell. Scotty Pippen to the open, B.J. Armstrong. And the Bulls backcourt. Jordan in the backcourt. Caught right, Grant Pippen up front. Here's Jordan. Michael is now five for eight. He has ten to bottle up Magic Johnson. Everywhere he goes, someone's jumping out at him all the time. And the foul on Tigo. It is a charge drawn beautifully by Pippen. Scotty Pippen stepping in the path of Terry Teagle to draw the foul. Steve Otz threw up a prayer, thought he'd draw the foul. And here come the Bulls on a three-on-two. Pippen off the hesitation dribble. A spectacular end-to-end -end move by Scottie Pippen. When you have a Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, where either one has the ability to lead it, take it down the floor, and then make a decision. For 38, Elvin Campbell off the bench leading the Lakers. Scottie Pippen recapturing the lead for Chicago with a one-point lead. Jordan with the steal. Pippen moving on green. Scotty Pippen has 15. And the Bulls take a 54-51 lead. Terry Teagle, you live and die by the Teagle jumper. Paxson, yes. John Paxson has hit on three of three. Jordan to the reverse. So Michael able to answer. And Magic looking to push it down court. Here's Green, stripped by Jordan. Pippen with Perkins back. And Grant with the rebound. Pippen. Oh, Scotty Pippen has broken loose in this third quarter. He has cashed in for eight of his 19 here in the third. The Bulls by four. Timeout has been called. Jordan, who leads the team in steals and block shots, loves to come from behind the offensive player's head to get a piece. Leads the fast break, looks down the floor, sees his teammate wide open, and as Pippen goes up right there, Perkins hits him in the head. Michael Jordan turns to the official and says, make the call. He got hit in the head. Pippen grabs his head. We want a three-point play from that. Jordan, yes. 18 for Jordan. Out of bounds off that dribble move. Magic off the double team, lost it. And here comes Pippen. 
The reverse slam by Pippen, who has destroyed the Lakers here in the third quarter. There's that scrambling Bulls defense making things happen from the weak side or blind side where Magic can't see. When they turn him, Pippen's coming. The result, another easy two points. Each game of this series, Chicago has had one or two stretches where they have been on fire. They are in the midst of it here. Paxson makes it four out of four. Over to help. Here is Pippen. Scotty Pippen has 23, and the Bulls lead 75, 72, 76. And there's that weak side attack as Jordan takes the lob off the back pick play and slams it down. Pippen played by Green. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Here's Jordan. Oh, what a move by Michael Jordan at 80. Scotty Pippen with the lead for Michael Jordan. The Lakers able to come right back. Larger move by Jordan with the left hand. We'll be back after these messages and a word from your local station. And again, the Bulls get to the loose ball. Horace Grant from Scotty Pippen until this evening. Here's Pippen, changed his mind. Grant had it knocked away by Campbell. Pippen. Scotty Pippen with 25 points. 12 of the 25 coming in the third quarter. Mike Fratello, Ahmad Rashad, Steve Jones, Michael Jordan. Yes, he has 25 remaining in the fourth. Now Campbell on Jordan. Went to the fadeaway. What a move by Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan can sense that the crowd is in it, that the Lakers are in it. He's going to take it into his own hands. He starts action. Pippen with the open shot for three. Scotty Pippen has tied it. 30 points for Scotty. Stopped by Gibbs. Paxson shooting. John Paxson gives the Bulls a 95-93 lead. Paxson is five for seven. He has 12 points. Open shot for Perkins. Cartwright on the rebound. Can't ask for a much better look. 16-footer in the foul line area, wide open, no one playing. Paxson open again. John Paxson continues to provide the crushing shots. Only 41 as Sam Perkins misses on a three-point attempt. Only 41 free throws taken this year. And here's Paxson. Six consecutive for John Paxson. Jordan with the crossover and the bucket. Jordan against the double team, the triple team, the rotating defense, the pump fake, the rotations. Paxson open again. He has been unconscious. 18 for Paxson. Holding foul, says Jake O'Donnell. It went in, but will not count. Trying to bring it back to Chicago for a game six. Paxson, yes! John Paxson again! And the Bulls lead the season. Best record in the history of the franchise. Only the ninth team in NBA history to win 60 games in a season. They have swept through the playoffs. Beat the Knicks three in a row. Won the first game by 41 points. Knocked off the Sixers in five. Defeated Detroit in a four-game sweep. This, their first ever trip to the finals in their 25-year history. And they are now 24 and 7, 10 seconds away. Final seconds. Magic's three-point attempt blocked. Pippen comes away with it. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. The Bulls graded by a portion of this similar to what happened to Detroit as they learned along the way. They lost to Boston in the Garden on the errant 
pass by Isaiah. Came back the following year, put Boston away, went on to the finals. They lose to the Lakers, but learn a lesson. They come back and win two world championships back to back. The Bulls have learned their lessons well. They've grown up. They win a championship. The celebration has begun in the Chicago locker room, and they are celebrating in Chicago as the Bulls take the Lakers in five. I'd like to thank all of you for a, a terrific season of NBA basketball here on NBC.